Wow, it feels good to be back. I haven't filmed or made a YouTube video in what feels like so long. Now talking to the camera again is bringing back so many memories and I've actually kind of missed it. But I am back, finally, with a new video. It looks super bright, let's turn the light off real quick. But I figured I would come on here and give you guys an update on what's going on in my life. Um, it's winter time here in the PNW, so, so it's been raining, just crappy weather, so it's hard to get out and explore. So I haven't really been able to film adventures like I was doing earlier on YouTube. But those styles of videos will come back soon when the spring rolls in, the summer rolls in here in the PNW. We'll be doing lots of hiking, camping. I have some big hiking goals that I wanna do this summer, so fingers crossed we can knock those out. And I'll probably bring you guys along for those. So this winter, what's been taking up a lot of my time, I kind of told you guys a little bit about it on my Instagram. Um, I am training for a marathon. It comes up in May. Today is March 28th. I don't know when this video is gonna be posted, but as I'm filming it right now, it's March 28th. Um, oh my gosh, it is pouring rain outside. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is pouring rain. That kind of is case in point as to why I haven't been adventuring that much lately. Um, winter times are brutal here, man. But like I was saying, I have been training for this marathon that comes up in May. We are about five weeks out. And so that's been taking up all of my time. Just doing training runs all week. Every weekend has been like a long run. So it'd be like a 15, 20 mile run. It just takes so much of my time. Um, but it's been a lot of fun. A lot of fun to do it, a lot of fun to train. So yeah. That's kind of like the general update. And I'll actually be doing a 20 mile training run this weekend. Um, I was actually thinking about maybe trying to make a YouTube video out of that, like a little behind the scenes of how my training run goes. If I put this in the video, I'm probably gonna be doing it. So that video will be coming soon. Take you guys along with me for a little 20 miler and all the pain and agony that comes with it, but also all the satisfaction and like accomplishments that come with it as well. Now, Let's jump into the reason for this video. I actually just got a package from Smart Wool. They sent me some apparel and they want me to make a little Instagram reel for them. So I figured I would just bring you guys along for that. Do the unboxing, um, check out the apparel. And then tomorrow, I actually have the day off work. So I plan on going out tomorrow with the Smart Wool stuff and we'll be filming, making a little reel for them. So I'll bring you guys with me for that as well. And so yeah, I just kind of felt inspired to make another YouTube video because it's been so long and I missed it. So let's do a little behind the scenes of shooting for a brand. All right, unboxing time. I just got this box in today. Um, obviously I have not opened it yet, so you guys are going to be seeing what's in here with me. Um, I'm going to be experiencing it basically right when you are experiencing it. So, let's just hop right in. Just cut the corners. Okay, first thing. Smart wool merino t-shirt. Wow, look at that. Got like a little tie-dye effect to it and this is super soft man you can already tell this is gonna be super comfortable Let's see what else oh look at this the smart wool merino hiking socks i am a sucker for some hiking socks man i don't know if you guys can see that they got a little guitar on them they even have a little like hatchet <laughs> it looks like maybe like a little campfire Little fish on there too. <laughs> that is rad, man. These are sweet. Last but not least, it looks like we have some shorts. Oh wow, these are sweet too. Smart wool active five inch shorts. Five inch inseam. Wow, these are sweet too. These would actually be perfect for my marathon training, honestly. Just nice lightweight shorts. Come with a little liner in them. Uh, I'm not always the biggest fan of liners and shorts because uh, it's hard to get it right. A lot of the shorts liners end up being super uncomfortable, but uh, Smartwool is a pretty good brand. So knowing them, they probably figured it out right. Hopefully it is comfortable. I'm excited to try these out. Okay, here's a little more of a close-up of what we got. These are the shorts, Smartwool shorts. They have the liner in them. 
We also have a back pocket here. You can like stick your keys in while you're running. Actually pretty excited to try these out. Here's the Merino tee. Super, super soft material. You can tell it's really breathable and like dry wicking. This is actually the main apparel for the video they want me to do for them. So a little reel kind of showcasing this t-shirt. So we'll be filming a lot with this t-shirt tomorrow. And here's a closer shot of the socks. They have the hatchet, fish, wild mushroom. This looks like a little guitar. It's got some like caveman hieroglyphic style thing. Uh, right here is like a little, looks to be like a campfire. Then this, I'm not sure what this is. Maybe like a cook stove? Is this a cooking stove? Like that'd be the flame and like the little pot maybe? So yeah, man, that's some cool stuff there. Thank you, Smart Wool. This is awesome. Can't wait to try this stuff out. Okay, so there you have it. That's everything that Smart Wool sent me for this little video they want me to do for them. According to the weather app, it's supposed to be nicer tomorrow, not supposed to rain as much. So hopefully all that goes as planned. We can get out and get some shots, crank out this video for them. It's just gonna be a short little reel. That'll be coming out on Instagram. I'm sure you guys will see that maybe even before this video's up, who knows. I also just wanted to take some time to thank you guys so much for your support, for watching the reels, watching my content. That is quite literally the only reason why I'm able to do stuff like this is because you guys are enjoying what I'm making and supporting me. And then brands see that, they see your guys' support of me and then brands reach out and they want me to do stuff for them. So, so I have to thank you guys so much for all your support and obviously always gotta thank the good Lord above. All of this is because of him, none of it's because of me, it's all because of him. So all the glory is his no matter what. I don't take any, any credit, any glory, it's all his, in Jesus' name. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, guys. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to get out there and, and do some shooting again. It's been so long. But yeah, so that will conclude for today. And I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. So I'm just getting down my first cup of coffee for the day and then we will be getting packed up and we will be heading north. It's gonna be a good day. I'm grateful for this day in Jesus name. Let's go make some content. Getting all my camera gear packed up and then going through the smart walls do's and don'ts one last time to make sure I got everything. A lot of brands will send you a lot of do's and don'ts of what they expect. A lot of it's pretty obvious stuff like make sure the subject's centered to the frame Make sure you're having high quality shots, not nothing like fuzzy or blurry. Um, don't be wearing competitors' brands in the videos, which, so it's usually all just pretty reasonable stuff. Um, and I actually don't mind it because it gives me a better idea of what the brand wants exactly in the video. So it can kind of narrow it down because my creative brain can just go crazy with ideas. But if the brand's like, no, I want this, this, and this, I'm like, okay, let's do that, that, and that. <laughs> Got the new socks on. Got all the coffee supplies for a nice outdoor cup of joe. And we are ready to go. Feels good to be back. Put you in awe of the amount of love that Jesus has for you. You are such a pain.
today. Thank you, Jesus, for your gift of salvation, for your gift of the cross. We just simply and humbly accept that gift. We get to spend eternal life with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Need to make a pit stop for some gas, some goodies, and a little tinkle. <laughs> Water, electrolytes, and a cookie. We have made it to Deception Pass. This place is one of my favorite places ever. It is so beautiful. Let me show you guys. Okay, so just getting my camera gear out and set up. Um, kind of along this like really busy road. So the road noise is pretty loud. I was gonna do my intro here to the Instagram reel, but because of all the road noise, I don't know how it's gonna sound. So I might do a little sound test before we uh, commit to doing this shot. There's also fighter jets flying over. Those are super loud. A lot of noise right now but i did just buy this microphone it's supposed to help with like outside noises and like white noise so i'm gonna plug this into my camera do an audio check if it sounds okay i'll do the intro here if it sounds horrible we'll go somewhere more quiet and uh do the intro over there so give it a try okay after doing a little bit of audio check and video check i realized that where i'm parked along this road we are Is this my dad right here? <laughs> that was my dad! He just drove by in the log truck. What in the world? He didn't even see me. He didn't even notice me. Parked here. That is hilarious that he's out here hauling logs. <laughs> what are the odds of that? I didn't tell him I was out here either. He doesn't know, so. He just literally drove right by me. But as I was saying, along this road here, um, you can only park kind of this direction and the sun is to the east. I was gonna make a shot facing this side of the car, but that also means that the camera is facing the sun, which like darkens everything. So you can't even see me. So it's a terrible lighting. So I think I'm gonna have to move locations to shoot this intro. And then we'll come back here because the trailhead's right here. So we'll come back here and go down the trail and do some more shooting, but I gotta move somewhere else where the lighting is better for this intro. So let's go do that. Okay, I think we found a new spot right here along this beautiful lake. So we'll be shooting facing that way. So the lake will kind of be in the backdrop kind of getting ready in the car for the adventure. That'll be like the intro shot with the cool backdrop. So I think this will do well. A few shots here for the reel. The sun's out, but it is freezing, man. Okay, I think that will conclude the intro. I head back over the trailhead and get some shots on the trail with the Merino Smart Wool Tee. Beautiful lake though, man, look at that. Pure. Okay, we are back to the trailhead. Let's get out into some beautiful Deception Pass scenery. Okay, we are off onto the trail. So this is the part where I don't really have a plan. I'm just gonna walk along this trail until I see something cool. We'll get some shots. Wow, can you guys see these? The flowers are blooming, baby. Springtime in the, in the P&W. 
I love it. <laughs> I do have like a rough little script that I want to say for this reel. Hold on, let's get up this hill first. <laughs> but yeah, I do have like a rough little script that I want to say for this reel, just some generic highlights of this t-shirt with some cool backdrops, some cool sceneries, and then that'll be it. Just a quick little reel. In the guidelines, it says it only needs to be 15 to 30 seconds long. So just a quick, short little reel highlighting the shirt. Should be a quick little shoot today. And uh, beautiful place, so love it. You guys hear that fighter jet? There's fighter jets that do training out here. They keep flying over, it's crazy how loud they are. to try to get a video of them if I can for you guys <laughs> but I'm doing my classic like come on you're coming two videos on Instagram for this campaign with smart wolf um, so I'm just gonna go on like a classic little hike but then tie it into like highlighting the t-shirt the merino t-shirt so yeah my first clip out here will be the come on you're coming to clip it keeps doing like circles like right here he's been flying ever since I got here oh there's one right over here I'll try to get this guy a video. Come on, you're coming too. Simple as that, man. Good enough. Let's keep moving down the trail. Our next clip will be something like something about how the Washington weather is unpredictable. That's why I use the Merino T as my one and done t shirt. Next clip, let's get it. The weather in Washington can be unpredictable. That is why I use a smart wall merino tee. That is why I use a smart wall merino tee. No, no, no. That is why I use a smart wall merino tee. No, no. The weather in Washington can be unpredictable. That is why I use a smart wall merino tee. If I want it done t shirt. Alright, I think good enough on that one. Okay, so the next clip I envisioned like hiking up a hill because this shirt highlights that it's odor resistant. And so I wanted to be like kind of hiking up a hill, huffing and puffing and being like, this shirt's odor resistant, so even though I'm huffing and puffing up this trail, I won't be stinking it up. <laughs> or something like that, so let's go find a hill. Okay, here's a nice hill. It might not look like it on here, but I can assure you that this is a hill. <laughs> this t-shirt is odor resistant, so even though I'm huffing and puffing up this trail, I won't be stinking it up. Okay, so we got a few clips of that shot. Hopefully one of those will work. Now we gotta go find another spot for the next clip. The next segment of the script. Okay, so this part of the trail is super cool. The sun's like beaming in right now. You got these beautiful trees. I might try to get a clip right here, but I'm gonna try to be quick because I wanna get the sun in here. So I need to get it before the sun goes away. Sorry guys, I did not film any of that last clip. I was on the main trail, people were walking by, so I just wanted to crank it out. Continuing down the trail now. I only have two more clips that I need to get. And that should be good for this reel. So we're getting close. But we're coming up on one of my favorite parts of this trail. So check this out. a seal right now. That's pretty neat to get to see one of those seals out here. There's actually so much wildlife here. Like I've seen whales here, I've seen seals, I've seen otters, I've seen deer, humans. <laughs> I never get tired of coming here. This is probably my 50th time here in my life, but I mean, just look at the scenery behind me. How do you beat that, man? I tell you how you beat it. You can't. You can't beat it. 
coming out here is beautiful but it is like pretty open to the sun and when the sun's shining it can be really harsh and the jets are flying over still so it's really loud it's a bit of a tough day for filming but my goodness seals right over here as I'm talking to you guys. It's ridiculous. I might go over this hill, find some shade, try to get two more clips for this reel, and then we'll call it good. Part of the delivery for this campaign, I need three standalone photos, like cover photos. And I send them three and then they pick their favorite one, but I still need to get three really good photos. So we still have a little work left to do, so let's keep going. Beautiful day for it though. This is one of my favorite spots in the trail right here. Just this grassy hill, rolls into the water. Beautiful backdrop. On a clear day, you can see the Olympic Mountains way over there. But I think this is where I'm gonna do my final clips. Just right here, looking out over there. Two more clips in this area, then we'll call it a video. As I was setting up, I looked over to my right and I saw this cute little guy hanging out in the bushes. Hello, fella. Nice to meet you, man. Hope you're having a good day. But I currently have my camera set up here, the bridge in the background, I'm trying to get some stills. Kind of see that. Just to give them some still options for the cover photo part of the campaign. So, doing the Smart Wall Merino team, I can feel confident facing any weather and any adventure. I think that's a wrap. We're done. Got all the clips, got all the stills. I think that is a wrap. Successful day. I am hungry. Been out here for probably close to four hours. Took close to four hours to film all this and to get all the photos and stuff. That is crazy. But can't complain too much. Beautiful day, beautiful scenery. I mean, just look at this. It doesn't get any better than that. So now it's all just going home and piecing it all together in the editing software. And that'll be done. I also brought all my coffee stuff down here. So I'm actually gonna make a cup of joe down here first and enjoy it with all this good scenery. And I'm jamming out of here and getting some grub, so. Cheers. That's about all I need right there. I'm a simple man. <laughs> this is fantastic. That was such a good cup of coffee. But now I'm finished with that. I got packed up. I'm making my way back to the car now because I am starving. I need to get some food in my belly start making my way home because tomorrow I have a 20 mile training run for the marathon. <laughs> so I need to start getting prepped for that. And I might make a YouTube video about that too. Maybe bring you guys along for that. A little behind the scenes of the training. I'll see you guys back at the vehicle.
So I'm gonna end the video here. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Happy Good Friday. Jesus is alive and Jesus is King. Amen. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.